All right, just a little overview of what we picked up at Publix for the week. This is just some of the stuff. We'll probably have to pick up a few more items um, throughout the week, but I wanted to show you guys what we got. We always get a rotisserie chicken and we just split it up with dark and white meat and measure it out for salads and wraps. Um, so sometimes I'll have a little bit of the dark meat because it's really good. And then usually Joey just eats the skin. <laughs> um, but rotisserie chickens are great for the week. I got some eggs and boiled eggs, a big pack of boiled eggs because I love to have boiled eggs prepared for snacks or like moments where you're just really hungry but you're not quite ready for lunch or you're making lunch and waiting on your lunch or dinner. Having a boiled egg will time you over and they're pretty decent in calories. You can have one for 60 and they're high in protein. This is a perfect dessert snack for me. I absolutely love these cinnamon apple chips from Bear. They're so good. They're baked apple chips with cinnamon sprinkled on top. I love them so much. You can have two third cups, which is 28 grams, which usually I just go by 28 grams because you get a little bit more for 110 calories. So it's a great option. This is another great option for snacks. I have these quite a bit with like a snack platter. These are the Epic Pork Rinds, the barbecue one. These are amazing. You can have half an ounce for 80 calories. So usually I'll have a half an ounce to an ounce. For my Fab Four smoothies, which is from the book Body Love, um, Fab Four is fiber, protein, greens, and fat. That's what it stands for. You um, need like a little bit of peanut butter or almond butter, whichever you prefer. Just very little into your smoothies. It makes a huge difference. So you have to kind of control that because it can add up. So you just need a little bit. And then we got some tomatoes because I like to saute these um, and add it into like a pasta or a stir fry. And then we got mushrooms for the same thing for stir fries, banana for the smoothies. And then this is a sugar-free apple pear powder for your water. And me and Joey both love to have something like this um, just to stay hydrated, just to add some flavor to our water. And the apple pear is really good. And then we got some cherries. Again, I love fruit for dessert. That's like my favorite thing. And then we got the Ezekiel sesame bread. You can have, I think, one for 80 calories. Yeah, one slice for 80 calories. I usually do like an open face sandwich or an open face egg sandwich with just one slice of bread for breakfast. Um, this is a really great bread. It's just very good ingredients um, and it's organic and no added sugar. It's high in protein. Yeah, it's just a really great bread. It's a good option. And then Stone Fire Little Pitas. I love these for hummus. And I'll have that with some vegetables. And then I'll get like the, you know, <laughs> the good carb fix. I'll just add a few of these to it. Because you can have five for 140. And then I'll do it with like carrots and celery with the sweet chili garlic. This is the best hummus. I think you can only find it at Publix because it's a boar's head brand. But if you have a Publix, you have to get this. It's so good and it's not too spicy. Even though there's like chili in it, it's actually pretty sweet and mild and spice. It's so good. And then I got some cold brew. I got my favorite yogurt is so delicious raspberry. The raspberry one is my favorite flavor and it's 140 calories for one. And then we got Greek yogurt, low fat yogurt for Joey, a steak for stir fry, just a lean um, sirloin steak for stir fry with the mushrooms and tomatoes. And that is everything that we got for the week. We also got these um, Annie's Crispy Snacks. These are gluten-free crispy rice cake, rice treats. You can have one for 80 calories. And then we also got these Strawberry Cream Protein One bars. These are 90 calories. These look really good and this is gonna be perfect for Joey to take to work and myself and we'll probably pop them in the fridge, get them really cold. We like when our bars are cold like that. And then we got some granola. We usually just get this as granola because it's way cheaper. The Quaker Simply Granola is cheaper than really all the others <laughs> and it's good. We got some toppings for salads. We usually always get some kind of walnuts, pecans, almonds, whatever, and then some bacon pieces. Mostly for Joey, he likes the bacon. I honestly really don't love it that much. And then we got this water to try. This is the Liquid Death Mountain Water. It's kind of a hyped up water that's been going around, so I kind of wanted to try it. 
and I mean Megan Fox drinks it so I did see that she drank this and I've seen a f who else was drinking it someone on a comedy podcast oh Burt Kreischer Burt Kreischer yeah Kreischer Kreischer um he drinks this so we picked it up for us to try and I love like high quality water I love trying water because I'm like a water fanatic and I always can tell like certain waters taste different so that's everything we got now we need to put it all away and then I'm gonna start prepping some stuff I'm gonna make some steak and veggies for dinner tonight and then I'll have some leftover for tomorrow so just having some good foods in the fridge for the beginning of the week is key I love to do this on Sundays it's like my reset to always have food that I typically eat on Sunday and in the beginning of the week so I'll kind of meal prep some things on Sunday or early Monday and then yeah I'm good for the rest of the week and it just sets me up for a just more successful week because I'm able to stay on track you're gonna put some stuff up yeah I'm gonna put some stuff away baby it had some of this like coffee on the outside. There we go. They're in a Tupperware. I'm gonna just eat the ones that don't fit because <laughs> there's only a few. Another thing I love is lemon ice cubes. So it's literally just lemon juice in an ice cube tray and I freeze it and I can pop this into cold water for some lemon flavor or I can put it in hot water for hot lemon water, which is really great for you by the way. Another benefit of making these lemon ice cube trays is that your house smells so good from the fresh squeezed lemon. I absolutely love the way lemon smells, so that's another benefit. All right, and then the next thing I do is separate the rotisserie chicken. I will put it in a container and do like dark and white meat and get all of that ready for meals, like salads and wraps and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you once it's done. All right, here's the chicken. We got like the dark meat, the legs, and the white meats. So we're gonna just pop a lid on and store that in the fridge. This next hack I'm obsessed with, it is a timer. So I use the timer anytime I want to get 20 minutes of cleaning done or 30 minutes of a workout or 15 minutes of stretching. I use a timer now for what feels like everything, but it's so helpful and hear me out. When you are about to clean, I usually set it for 20 minutes and I just tidy up um, my house because it just feels so good to wake up with a clean house on Monday. So I'll set it for 20 minutes and usually what happens is once I get to that 20 minute mark and I'm cleaning for 20 minutes, I can keep going and get more done. And same with working out. I set a timer for 25, 30 minutes for a workout and once I'm in it and I'm getting the workout done, I usually can go for 45 minutes, sometimes even an hour. Once you just get past that point, so I usually set the timer for 20 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes. And I'm going to tidy up and clean because the house is pretty messy. Um, there's just like little things we need to get done and do. So especially the bathroom and a little bit in the living room. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for 20 minutes and do like a little montage of me tidying up and just getting it done for a new week. It just feels so good. Like I said, waking up on a Monday when your house is clean and tidy, perfect.
vacuumed the rug, sprayed the carpet down, cleaned off the kitchen counter, did the dishes, um, lit a candle so it smells nice, and then I tidied up in there in the bathroom. So overall, it's pretty, pretty clean. All right, I am about to make dinner. I'm gonna make a really healthy dinner and that is something I do on Sundays is I like to have a very clean, simple, healthy dinner so that Monday I wake up feeling really good, not bloated, um, and just feeling really just healthy and fresh. I tend to not do carbs on Sundays. Usually, sometimes if I do have a carb, it's like a potato or a sweet potato, um, but typically I like to just do a really good protein and then some veggies. So that's what I am doing. I have a sirloin steak. So I'm gonna cook this up in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil, just a very, very little, like a teaspoon or two teaspoons of olive oil, but that's for both steaks. So I'll add it up depending on how much I use for a serving. So I'm going to make the steak and then I have some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes I will cut up and some mushrooms and I'm gonna cook that in the pan. Once the steak is done, I will cook that in there so it's like gets all the juices and then I'm gonna season it up. I'll share the seasonings that I use. But this is just a very simple, simple dinner and a simple recipe and it doesn't take that long to make either, which is a plus. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this washed, the veggies washed and cut up, the steak seasoned, and start on my dinner. So good and I love to add it put it in the oven um, after I've seared it I pop it in the oven for a little bit and it just turns out so good all right here is dinner we have three ounces of steak mushrooms tomato sauteed with a little arugula feta and walnut salad with just a simple dressing of olive oil and balsamic i love olive oil and balsamic dressing i just think it's so good and it pairs really good with steak and then we're having the liquid death water which i've already just tried and it is so good let me tell you about it the best way to explain this water is you know how you try some water out and it has an aftertaste like a, a chemical aftertaste or like a plastic aftertaste this literally has no taste of like any chemicals it's just so fresh 
and like water does have a taste like it there is some kind of taste to water and this is like water <laughs> it's just like so potent of water flavor and does nothing else if that makes sense um which it probably doesn't i don't know anyways i'm a big fan it's super good i love it i love that it's in a can um the water tastes amazing i mean i definitely would buy this again if i see it at the store i would buy this again so there you go if you really like water and you like trying different water and you can tell a big difference like i can when it comes to water i think you'll love this because it's really good okay gosh that's so good i'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner like I mentioned, this is my favorite dinner. One of my favorite dinners to make. I also love making salmon sheet bakes and stuff, but, and soup, I love soup. But this is like just a great dinner for high protein, keeps me full, it's very satisfying, very simple. And I will not be bloated tomorrow, which I really love when I wake up like with the flat, unbloated stomach and my digestion just feels on point. I really prefer that and it makes me feel my best. And then, right before bed, I take two, of these debloat pills by FWC, which oh my gosh, fit with Cambry, I think that's what it stands for. But I take two of these, um, and I've been taking these for a while like months, like four or five months. This is like my second bottle, second or third bottle of this, and I really, really love it. And I can tell a difference. Truly, really, it is amazing. This isn't sponsored, this is a product that I got because I was interested in it. And I follow Fit with Cambry, and I've done some of her workouts, and I really like a lot of things she shares. Anyways, the DeBloat pills is what I take at night um, before bed. So I'll do that after I'm done eating, done showering, and getting ready um, for bed. I'll take two of those. But I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my delicious dinner. I am sure it's good. I've made this so many times, but I'll give a little taste test. And then like with the salad, you can have like a little bit of steak, pick up some arugula. It just goes so well together and feta. A little salad. Mm -mm 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 all right, leftovers for tomorrow and for Joey. <laughs> My new shoes are here. I ordered these Sorel sneakers from Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. I am so excited. I need new sneakers so badly. And I read that these are amazing and super supportive. They are so pretty. They look so good. They're like this taupe color and white on the bottom. Oh, oh my gosh. I really needed a good new walking shoe. Um, just like a workout shoe in general. So I'm so excited about these. I just tried one on and oh my gosh, it's so comfy. I'm so happy. They're so cute and they're so comfortable. My toe is like right here, like right here. So I feel like that's perfect. You like them, Brooks? What do you think? Yeah. As you can see, I have a face mask on. Where's my camera? Dirty. I always, always do face masks on Sundays. I absolutely love skincare and face masks so much. So I always do a skincare, and this one is an exfoliating skincare product that I do. And you leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes and then you just like kind of rub it off. And I do that in the shower. This is the product I'm using. It's the Cora Organics. It actually was a sample I got from Sephora and I loved it. So I may even buy it in a full tube. That's why I love Sephora samples. I actually got a Fenty, um, I think it was called Buddha Drop and it was like an oil body cream and I loved it that I bought a full size of it. And then I've used this quite a bit. I think I've used it like three times now and I love it. So I think I'm gonna buy a full size. And it works really great and exfoliating all the dead skin. Um, so yeah, it's a two-in-one, 
Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. That's another thing. It does kind of brighten my face. I feel like my face just looks kind of even, like an even skin tone. So I'll leave that link down below too if you guys want to try it out. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the end of the night for me. I have my water, my skincare on. I'm watching a show and a robe, kind of unwinding before bed. And then I'm gonna take a nice hot shower, do my skincare, and that is it. And then tomorrow when I wake up, my house will be clean. I'll have food prepared for myself and I'll be set for a new week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reset routine video. This was just like a spare the moment kind of video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you found it somewhat motivating for you on your weight loss journey and your wellness journey journey so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know if you want to see more reset routine videos and let me know how you're doing and subscribe if you are new here it is free to subscribe you just hit that subscribe button it is free it doesn't charge you I know I have like a higher percent of people not subscribed who watch me so I would love it if you could subscribe and hopefully I can hit 50k soon uh, it's like a freaking huge goal for me I've like always wanted to hit 50k I always thought I'd max out at 50k but that's very limiting I think I'm worth more and I have a lot to offer so that is my new thing is not limiting myself to a certain you know amount not saying oh I you know 50k is all that I'm ever gonna get um, I'm really working on like self-worth when it comes to business so and just overall myself <laughs> um, but yeah I really hope I can hit to 50k soon so subscribe and help me I really appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye guys oh good night oh good night cutie butt good night